Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to connect C Sharp with Oracle Database. First off, you have to download Oracle Data Provider. Navigate to oracle.com. Make sure you have an Oracle account and you have logged in. Hover over Download button. Under Developer Tools, click on Developer Tools for Visual Studio. Click on ODAC with Developer Tools for Visual Studio. It's important to accept license agreement and download the latest release for ODAC. Once the file downloaded, extract it. Open the extracted folder and run the setup file. If your application multilingual, select the languages and click Next. If your current Windows user account in Administrators Group, then use Windows built-in account, otherwise create new user and add it to the Administrators Group. Then click on Next. Specify the location for installing this package. It's up to you. I leave the default, click Next. Select the components that you want it. I just want Oracle Data Provider for rich applications and Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. Click on Next. And tick this checkbox and click Next. Click Next. Click on Install. The installation of Oracle Client was successful. Close this window. Now, open Visual Studio. And make sure you have the latest version of Visual Studio. Open Server Explorer window. Right click on Data Connections. Select Add Connection. Click on Change. From Data Source list, select Oracle Database and select ODP.NET Manage Driver as Data Provider. Click OK. Specify the username and password for your enabled user schema. For connection type, select Easy Connect. Specify the following details according to your Oracle database installation. Click on Test Connection. Connection succeeded. Click OK. Now you can browse all your schema objects from Visual Studio. Let's try to make simple rich application. Select Visual C Sharp to create Windows Presentation Foundation application. Name, location, solution name, it's up to you. Click OK. If you plan to use code to connect with Oracle, then it's important to add reference to the Oracle data provider. Right click on References, select Add Reference. Under Assemblies, click on Extensions and search for Oracle Managed Data Access. 
tick the option for this assembly and click OK. Once you have it and the references, you can start coding. Open data source window. Click on Add New Data Source button. Click Next, Next. I've already created a connection with Oracle in Server Explorer window. So just choose one of the two options to make connection string and click Next. Name your connection string variable. Click Next. Select which database objects to include in your dataset. Click Finish. You can easily drag and drop the table object on the design surface. If you get such an error, it's OK. All you have to do, just build your project. Then drag and drop the object again on the design surface. Once the build succeeded, you can drag and drop the table object. Finally, click on Start. This is how to connect C-Sharp WPF application with Oracle Database. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.